Hi folks, Excitus here. A um, couple of months ago I showed you a knife called the Urbis by Chubrakov and um, it was a surprise favourite of mine. I, I didn't um, quite uh, think I would like it as much as I did but um, for all the reasons I did like it I like this one even more uh, which just goes to show of course that um, Anything Chabrakov can do, Shir Shirogorov can do uh, better. Although, granted, it is, I think, twice the price. Um, why do I like this? I mean, on the hat, on the face fit, it's just a titanium slabbed uh, grey knife. But the thing is, it isn't. Um, for a start, obviously, is you've got a sort of bead blasted finish here with the Shirogorov. Um, bear on it but all along here the shaping of the knife is all milled as well as being shaped um, and that's really quite nice but the other thing which I don't know how well it'll come over on the camera I, I suspect may not come over at all but it's actually it's got a blue anodization to it and it just when it catches the light it can be quite vivid um, but at the same time quite um, uh, subtle so um, I like that um, it's uh, obviously a, a, a flipper which keeps it uh, to have res relatively slick lines there's no re need for um, thumb studs or anything like that and the other thing that I particularly like as with the Urbis is that it's a liner lock so you don't have any uh, cutout relief on the uh, the non-show site again it's a right hand only knife which for somebody who doesn't have a working right hand I find a little bit irritating now Shirogorov do do left hand models from time to time they just don't do very many of them but uh, having said all that it's got a relatively nice clip it's a uh, machined titanium so they're generally not my favourite because they're not very uh, flexible or usable. But this one actually has been done really quite well. They've uh, shaved that piece of aluminium billet down so it's almost like a piece of spring steel, which is what the best clips really are, um, in my mind. Plus, it's got this nice little recess that it sits in, which means that it doesn't stand up too proud of the knife and cause hot spots and things. So... All in all, I, I'm, I applaud them for that. You've got the backspacer here, which is a sort of machine pattern uh, backspace. Again, in titanium. So everything is in titanium. And it's all the best quality titanium. But also, now obviously this is Shirogorov. So, I can flip it. Um, which is, it's, it's not just... Shirogorov's. I'm actually getting a little bit better at it, um, but uh, Shirogorov's always seem to work for me when other knives um, don't so much. Now, what else do I like about this? Well, I like the blade. It's a simple blade. It's relatively straightforward. It's relatively thin. It's relatively cutty, but it's got this uh, machining to the top edge here, which I think is just lovely. It's... um. It reminded me of the Koenig areas. Um, I think I probably still prefer the machine on the Koenig, but this is a, it's got a similar aesthetic to it. You've got the lovely long swedge down the back of the blade, and then you've got this um, sort of cutout piece at the top, which means you could actually open it almost as though it were a nail nick, although it's not deep like a nail nick and it's not going to gather rubbish like a nail nick. The other thing about the blade, which is certainly uh, a good thing, is it is in S90V. Um, I've never been a huge fan of S90V, but it is a good hard-wearing steel, and uh, there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, another thing I like about it is the size, because much as I love that big uh, carbon fibre um, 
uh, Shirogorofa had before the Ursa. This one is um, a sort of more medium size, which is good as far as I'm concerned. Uh, uh, compared to a large Sabenza, just a little bit smaller, not much, but a little bit. And obviously compared to the small Sabenza, it's uh, obviously a little bit bigger. So it sort of fits into a sweet spot there. Um, I of often think the so small Sabenza is just a little bit small, but then I've got big hands. But the large Sabenza is maybe just a little bit big to carry out in the in the street. The blade is 3.675 inches um, stonewashed M390. The overall is eight and a quarter and it weighs 4.2 ounces. It runs on multi-row bearings, which are smooth. That's why I can always flick a flipper uh, Shirogorov because the bearing system is just that much better than just about anything else I've ever um, had um, and of course they say it's a line of lock and to keep the weight down unlike the Sabenzas it is internally milled how much of that you'll be able to see here I don't know I'll give it a wee go anyway if you can't see you have to maybe just take my word for it but it is milled internally um, which keeps that, that weight down so, you know, it's a little bit more than the ounce and inch Nick Shabazz standard, but uh, it's, a, it's only a little bit over and it's, 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 it's pleasant enough and I think it'll be nice enough to carry in the pocket and not too big to be um, offensive, um, not too small as to be ineffective. It's a good sized pocket knife um, and I like it very much. Um, I think that's really all I've got to say about it. It's just a lovely piece of um, working, useful pocket jewellery. So, you know, it, it cuts the mustard as, as a nice note to carry with a nice sort of touch. So it's this The blue is just a really nice effect. You, you see it and you don't see it um, both at once. Um, it's not gaudy blue in your face. It's not uh, plain titanium. It's just that nice balance. So, uh, and there we are. Thank you very much. Um, if you like your stuff, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you make a comment, I will read it. I'm not very good at replying, particularly not at the moment. But uh, I do read all the comments that come in. And um, if you'd like to see more of this stuff, and I say there's six more in this series, and I would probably say this isn't the, my favourite of them. It's right up there, but it's not. We've got, m we've got more to come and perhaps a little bit uh, different as well. So, OK, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. See you next time.